I'm back in Norfolk. I've got my little nine inch coil and my little mother with me. Here we go. Remember the Nang with the hat? The 84 year old, she was eight, no, 83 year old Nang with the hat. She's 84 now. And last time on the first hole, she found a little bit of Saxon stuff, didn't you? I did. So we'll see what we can find today. We've got all this behind us. We've got all that over there by the road. And some potatoes are being dug just around the corner. The Nan with the hat is out again. No. Considering this is the second time you've done it, and the last time was three months ago, you remember the lot. You heard it here, there's not a lot to remember. It's simple. Oh. Keep it as low as you'd like because of all these lumps. Yeah, that's right, you've got to do your best. I've uh, got to try and ID that when we get back. There's a registered trademark, core steel, with a design on. It's, uh, I think it's an aluminium tag, fairly sure of that, with a bit of string on. So it looks like it is hanging around something like a, a bottle or some sort of a gift tag or as a, a brand tag of anything. Some sort of tag. We'll do some research on that. That's iron. Oh, can you hear that? Yeah, that's loud. But it's not just that loud, it's really nice. It's oh. not a burp or a fart, is it? No. And this seems to stop here somewhere. I thought it was here. Did you? Yeah. Is it in the hole? No? No. It's here somewhere, we are. Oh, look. Oh, you've got a coin. No, you, I haven't. You have. Oh, that's is it. It's a silver hammer. Oh, Hang on. I a, won't see. There's nothing on it. It's got worn off. Look, and she's not even a bit excited. She's found a hammer coin on her second signal on her second ever go. Well, that's what I came for. Oh, aren't you clever? <laughs> Oof, that's rubbish. Oh, that's a shame. That's yeah. pretty loud. Yeah? Draw, draw it back slowly. Draw it back. Keep moving it. Right, it's gone there, so. Probably be a piece of aluminium or a can or something like that. Piece of steel. There it is. Oh, I was wrong. The other thing is, it could be a copper penny. Well, it looks like it. It was very close to the surface, that's why it's so yeah. loud. Yeah, copper penny. Just spat me in an eye then. <laughs> <laughs> Bounced off the coin. You shouldn't spit so hard. Uh, that's the Britannia. Can't see the date on that. Oh, George III. Oh. You found a George III penny. Is that your first one? Oh, it is your first one. Yeah. George III penny. And I thought it was an old bit of scrap. Wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong again. <laughs> it was very, very close to the surface and laying flat. George, there's anything else there. George III penny. There won't be anything else unless there's a purse drop. There's two coins you found today. Yeah. Oh, I'll fill a hole in for you. You carry on searching. 
Well, I give up. Two coins in about half an hour, something like that. That's a fart. And uh, I was wrong. I thought that was an old piece of rubbish tin can or aluminium or something. Obviously, it, it wasn't because it was so loud and it was laying flat very close to the surface. So, kudos to the old lady in the hat. Well, the nan in the hat. Yeah, we won't take old, thank you. We'll have elderly. But I will, I'll let you know when I get old. Okay. 84 is not old. But you've got a good technique. They would, they'll agree. You've got a good technique. Oh, okay. We'll see. With the comments they leave below. Leave a comment what you think of her technique. Isn't that better than most people you see on a rally? Especially when you think you've got a signal and go with two hands like this. It's <laughs> like you're, it's like you're um, mopping the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Catch you later guys, in your cake hole! Yeah, he's going to get cake when he gets home. You're hogging my camera. <laughs>